Hello friends, welcome to Tech Greens. In the continuation of our series on Spark interview questions, today we'll find out the difference between distributed shared memory DSM and the RDDs. And we are talking in the context of the Spark execution world. Now let's see what is the difference between DSM, distributed shared memory and RDDs. So let's first quickly look uh, DSM. DSM is a distributed shared memory. RDD, as you all are aware of, it's a resilient distributed data set. And one more definition we'll look before we get into the comparison. And it is, it is about what is coarse grain and what is fine grain. So this is an important uh, concept, coarse grain and fine grain. At a high level, it means that in case of coarse grain, uh, as the name suggests, it works at one level higher than the fine grain things, right? So it means that we can transform the whole data set, you know, but not an individual element on the data set. And this is not the exact definition, but at high level, we can understand it from this way. That coarse grain means that you can have some kind of transformations or you know compute on the whole of the data set, but you cannot uh, play or you know uh, apply the transformations at the individual element level. While on the other hand, fine grain does facilitate you the handle to work on the individual elements. So it works kind of uh, at, at much more finer level, much more lower level than the coarse grain. Now let's see this table where I have charted out the difference between DSM and RDD on the basis of different behaviors. The first behavior we are trying to observe is the read. So as uh, read um, is a very important concept in any kind of ETL world, in terms of DSM, DSM gives you a handle to do the fine grained read of the underlying data set, while RDDs uh, provides you the mechanism to do both kind of reads, be it coarse grain or fine grain. So here we have uh, both kind of uh, uh, grain systems are available with RDD in terms of read behavior. Now next behavior we are observing is the write behavior. Write behavior in DSM is absolutely fine grain. The lower level elements in the data sets are accessed and that's how write has happened. Uh, while if we talk about writes in the RDD one, they are coarse grain. So um, the entire of the data set is written instant. We cannot play on the individual elements while doing the writes. So writes in the RDD world are coarse grain while they are fine grain in DSM. Talking about the consistency, consistency in the DSM world, which is distributed shared memory depends on the developer. So if developer follows the right rule and design patterns, they will be able to achieve the right memory consistency. But it all depends how the developer has handled the different memory leak situations. While if we talk about the RDDs, consistency comes out of the box as RDDs are immutable and we cannot mutate the state of the RDDs. While in uh, distributed shared memory state uh, can be mutated and it all depends how developer handles it. Uh, talking about the fault tolerance, the next behavior, fault tolerance in DSM is done through checkpointing. Snapshots of the current running execution is taken in a timely manner. And if in case any fault happens, it can be recovered from that. While in RDD, as you all are aware of, uh, fault tolerance is maintained through the DAG, dynamic acyclic graph. Lineage is maintained and represented as DAG. And on the top of that, RDDs are immutable so that you will never lose the state of the RDD in case of any uh, node failure because that is all registered in the form of transformation steps as part of your DAG. A speculative execution as we have discussed in the last video as well is not supported with distributed shared memory concept but it is absolutely supported in the Spark and the RDD world. <clears throat> now let's see if in case we are working with limited resources that we are working on the nodes where we do not have enough primary memory or RAM. So uh, what happens in that case? If you see the Spark world and specifically RDDs, they are absolutely meant for the in-memory compute. But at the same time, there is a facilitation if in case the data overflows the memory, the local memory on that particular node, data is spilled onto the disk. 
so that we can re recover that data if uh, whatsoever is the case but uh, that's not the behavior in dsm because it is primarily the uh, in memory storage of uh, the distributed data representation and performance decreases drastically if in case there is not enough primary memory because then it goes into the split and the paging mechanism how to store that data into the ram but that is handled more robustly and efficiently in the rdd and spark world so these are some of the differences between the dsm distributed shared memory and the rdd's resilient distributed data set in the spark world once again we'll quickly iterate read write uh, both of these behaviors in dsm are fine grained while reads are supported uh, both ways in rdd's coarse grained and fine grained however the writes are only supported as coarse grained consistency absolutely uh, is very high with the rdd and spark world fault tolerance is uh, achieved through the dag that is how the lineage is maintained in the spark speculative execution a health check process very effective process to kind of expedite the slow running or the lagging task is provided in the rdd and spark world and uh, in terms of memory overflows uh, are very efficiently handled with the rdd and the spark world so that's it in this video guys have a good day thanks for watching bye bye